Welcome to Just Paint, do-it-yourself spray art and tutorials. Hey guys, welcome back here to the channel. I hope you guys have been having an awesome week. In this video here today, we're going to do a tutorial on how to do your basic stars, the flicking of the stars in the background. It's come to my attention that I do not have a uh, tutorial on how to do that. Uh, I thought I did, but apparently I just... I'm showed you how to guys how to make a basic moon and uh, a planet but I didn't show you how to do the flicking of the stars I just ended up flicking them on there and for that guys my bad I'm sorry I will we're getting to it now I apologize for the delay so while we're at it we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a planet as well because you know why not why not have a little touch up on how to make a basic planet plus we need a planet to make the stars so I've got my poster board here we're going to take our planet and we're going to stick it off. Uh, we're going to put it over here on the side maybe. Then we're going to take our black spray paint and just give it a little light misting. And we need to make sure this is really shaken up. A um, little light misting around the edge so we get that circle. So you guys see where we're going to put our colors for our planet. Now, uh, for this here, I'm just going to use a couple of different colors. Uh, I always like to put down white first just something I like to do. Uh, you don't have to put down white first. And I don't always do it, but normally with a moon or a planet, I tend to put the white down first. And then a couple of black spots. Grab whatever colors you want to use. I'm going to go with blue and make some kind of like Earth-like planet type thing. A habitable planet. So maybe some purple because it is an alien planet. Why not have some fun with it? And then some green. Got to have some grass, some green trees in there. Something from space. So spray them around, and we want to keep this a little wet, but not too wet. We don't want it too sloppy. And I always like to go over the top again with some white. Crumble your paper. And this is just a magazine sheet. And then swipe at a U, like a U. Okay, so there we go. Inside, like a U, okay? So don't swipe side to side, just do it. You see how we get those lines that are kind of like a U? And anything you don't like, you can always put a little more pressure on. Wrinkle up the paper, just set, pat and do it again. Then we just highlight a little bit. Um, I'm using some empty cans here, just finishing them off, the old school Krylon ones. So we'll mist a little bit, and do some purple, mist a little bit of green, and we're just highlighting some of the colors in it. And then we'll take, if you don't like what you got there, you can always use another piece of uh, paper go ahead just crumble it up real good set it down give little swipes I always use the U motion because we're at it and you'll see why we do this little U motion it actually makes the planet look a little more round in the end so now we'll just go ahead and shadow one side pretend we have a light source we're gonna say it's up here off the board you know it's not on the paper so we're gonna put the light sources on the left side we're gonna put the darkness the shadow side down on the right so we'll shadow it in I'll grab some green shadows, a little dark green above the black. And we'll do a little blue, real lightly, and then up here, throw a little purple. And then we'll go over it with just a little touch misting of some white, just for some reflection from that light source off out in the distance. Alright, guys, so normally we would let this dry completely before I do it, especially if you have you're not in a rush, you're not doing it for a show, you can go ahead and just let this dry completely beforehand because you don't want to have any lines. Um, this little cup here tends to make lines, so I always let it dry. Uh, so, see the thickness? It's going to put the lip on it's a little thick, it's going to leave a line. And uh, don't mind my tape in there, I dropped this and kind of broke it. <laughs> so it's just, see I broke it, so it's just kind of holding it together. Eh, what works, works. So, all right, for the purpose of this, we're just going to go ahead and even though it's not dry, we're going to set it down. Uh, I feel it's dried a little bit. It's, it's probably good. So just be careful. Don't smash it down on it. Just set it there. All right, so now for the space background, we're almost there, guys. Almost to the stars. I You can do a plain back background. I like to do things like a purple or a blue in the back. And then I like to throw the black on top and kind of fill in the gaps where the white still is and leave a little bit of that purple showing through.
We have that purple showing through, a little bit of that blue from that other line there that had nothing to do with what we were making. Kind of shows through and will look a little, a little cool as well. And I actually like the cheaper paints for this here because it allows that back color to show through because it's a lot thinner. It doesn't coat as thick. So, let's see, you can always put a little edge, so we'll finish this planet up, you can always put a little edge over here on the side, you use some blue or something, this is kind of a darker blue so it doesn't show up too well, and it's running out, balls just rattling around in this thing, so, do a little white on an edge, so we can kind of pretend there's also like a, a a light source that's coming from behind the planet as well, if you want to do this is inside that whole star making thing as well another way of making some kind of star so we'll pull this up and there's our planet now you see how we did those U that, that U shaped swipes of it it kind of gave our planet this roundness so as you can see it's fairly round and it, it just looks kind of cool so now for the stars you would typically not take this off until after you do the stars but you have like this light source behind it here so you guys can see what that's like so honestly let's get on to the main point of this video the star so we're gonna spray it on our finger and then take and shake it off to the side or flick it off to the side one time to get a little bit of the paint off you can see it's just dripping around and you don't want that much globs on it and then flick flick from the top slightly on the side and you'll get these little white specks we flicked most of it off to the side if see if we don't we get bigger specks if you don't flick it at all you can end up with big globs of white paint and you may not necessarily want that for your painting so just keep that in mind flick it off to the side the higher you flick from the more dispersed the stars are going to be if you do it real close you get these little lines and if you do it too much at an angle they kind of slide across the painting and you get like little stretched stars so you only want a little angle but mostly just from the top guys the closer you go the more bunched up the stars are see how I have it down in the left corner there you know you get like these little nebulas little clusters of stars and that can look really cool so just use that to your advantage but you just put it on your finger okay flick it off to the side and then start flicking on it just you can always put more paint on the painting, but you can't take it back off the painting. It's a, it's, a, it's a pain to do so. So just take your time. Do a little at a time. Now for this here, we're going to spray up here on the plastic. We don't really want to spray down here. Or it's going to drip down on the painting. And we're just kind of trying to bounce it off of it, a little mist off of it. And we can make ourselves a star. Kind of in the back here as well. So this is just another way of a star. Now see how it's dripping? So I like to wipe usually after each one because if not, you get this. it's going to drip off and you get this hideous pooling uh, dot right there uh, where you're putting your, your line. You can use a rag. You can use a piece of paper to wipe it off. Anything you can, just keep that drip from happening. And I would do that after each time you, you use this tool to make these lines. Just wipe it off. Too many times I've screwed that up and I've had it just drip down on the painting and it's a pain to fix. And if you're not good at fixing it, it can ruin your whole painting. It gets you real mad and make you want to throw it away. So just, there it is. See that one almost got it. It's actually right there on the bottom because it's a thinner paint. It's cheap. This is a cheaper paint. So it runs a lot quicker. Definitely play around with these techniques and you know, you're going you're gonna to find something that suits you, what works for you, what you like. But I hope some of these help to uh, inspire you guys and help out with your star making uh, abilities. I love these little light flares from behind the planet. Things like that. Uh, I don't see too many people use them exactly like this. And uh, so they have like better ways or just to them they're cooler ways. But to me this just looks pretty cool. It just shines out from behind it. And it's pretty cool as well. If you're using that as your main light source then you'll probably want to darken up the right side of the moon more a little more into the green uh, part of the uh, planet the moon there 
uh, because you know this side of the planet is going to be darker than the other side because that's where the light source is so you always keep your light source in mind so over here we got these you can make another star over here you can use the tip of something here and you can put a little dot in there for a star people love those I actually don't like those little dots in there like that with it I'll tend to just take and find a uh, one of the bigger stars I may have put there on accident from the flicking of the stars and just kind of put some lines through it but really if you just make the lines across where they intersect the center tends to get pretty bright just from where they intersect and then you can always spray on top of it if you want always spray off to the side first make sure you got a good spray going and then spray on top of it and then line it up that's yeah, pretty good uh, you can use something that has a hole in it uh, this is just something and I have no clue I don't remember what this is off of but it had a hole already in it and it was pretty good perfectly round so it works you can use a CD a uh, little compact CD a disc and that would work as well and you just kinda give it a light spray and you get these little brown white balls they can be planets they can you can kinda use them for uh, glow effects halos from your little distant stars now don't mind this whole picture is gonna look pretty jacked up here because we're getting all these different things in it but it's uh this is just kinda of for a learning purpose to help you guys out so there you can get a little glow effect you know don't put too many lines you can get I can get a little I myself can get a little carried away with how many lines I put in things and it's just gonna get a little a little too much you can use these here as well little circles uh, and cascading sizes as well of these holes for the, the light flares the glares that come off of uh from the uh, distant stars and stuff for your light sources so you can use that as well now this is the same size one so this doesn't look as cool as using a different sizes and this ring here I've got is just a little too big uh, you can always put a planet like a little planet stencil down and just lightly spray around the spray on the stencil so it bounces off and goes around it and you can get these effects like that and then just offset things and this isn't going to look that great because I wasn't thinking this through to plan this part out here for you guys but just spray around on the inside edges and you get these little circles to make these like light flares um, like the movie Star Trek, the new Star Trek movies they use those light flares a lot in those a lot of sci-fi movies and you can just use them as a cascading effect so just find different size holes and just do that and that works um, you can also use these little holes here uh, as I said to make little planets like over the top of other planets just little dark moons so you figure if that light source is behind it and this side of the planet is already dark then you wouldn't need too much of a, a light side to one of these moons you just leave it a little dark and that's just a moon floating on the other side of the planet things like that you know you just kinda use your imagination put some tools together and figure out what works and what doesn't and that's how all of us tend to figure it out how we figured out what works and what doesn't it's just take your time figure it out play with this play with that see what what happens but guys I do hope this right video right here helped you guys out all these different uh, star making techniques um, all kinds of things you can do I mean we can go over here and uh, Let's see. Let me get a piece of this paper, and we can make some shooting stars. So, not shooting stars. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't make them. You tend to use them on a lot of our my uh, artwork I use. But I know a lot of people like to make them, and it's just take a piece of cardboard, bend it at a angle, nice and tight, just in half. Uh, no, I don't know why I said angle, but just in half. And you're gonna spray right in there because we don't want it to drip down and leave that hideous pooling effect on our painting so we want to do it quick and this cheap paint like I said is a is a thin paint so it it does drip quick so there's like a shooting star but you gotta get the paper just right to get that long tail to it and have it longer and it's I'm not a fan of making shooting stars but it's that's how you do the shooting stars guys so maybe if we tear the top off here a little bit so we can get into it a little better 
just spray right into the middle of it. Don't spray down onto the painting. But anyways, guys, that's Shooting Star. So you guys can perfect that, make it, make it your own. Now over here, you know, we can make a little nebula galaxy type thing, like a f distance, far away galaxy um, inside our painting. And then we can add other stars to it and using that star flicking effect. So just take a couple of different colors, kind of offset them, highlight some of them. I like to start with white because some of the other colors you put on it tends to dull up, take that white and just shadows different colors off of it. Like the green isn't as green, but it's a little more green on the blue, but then it wasn't. It's a little lighter green on the white, things like that. Just different, a couple of different colors, and just figure out whatever you want your little distant galaxy thing to look like, and play around with it. Use the black, darken up areas that were a little too, uh, a little too light for your liking. Maybe you get a little spursed out too far. And for this one here, guys, yeah, you can use different color for your stars as well. You don't have to use the white. Use your red, yellow, purple. You know. There are different color stars out there. I mean, some stars, you get blues and things like that in the sky. So just use different colors and just have fun with it. So we have our little nebula. We flick things down in it to make a bunch of cluster stars in it. Maybe take our little tool here and do a couple of lines, a couple of uh, a little bright shadow one bright uh, glowing one out there shadow I don't know why I said shadow ah what a long day it's been so but I had to get this video out for you guys because I apologize I wasn't aware that I did not have it uh, but see there's that dot you see that dot it's just ah and over here it, it actually started to make its own dot from where they intersected so I think I mentioned that before but I'm not sure but guys I hope that uh you remember how to do these stars are really simple. Put it on your finger, flick it off to the side, flick it on the painting. Put it on your finger, flick it off or shake it to the side, and flick it on your uh, flick it onto your painting. It's pretty simple, uh, but keep your hand above the painting. Don't put it way down at an angle. The closer you are, the more uh, compacted your clusters will be. The farther away you are, the more uh, the farther away they'll be. You can also put it on something like a piece of wood or like this tool here and fan it onto it. I don't really like that because they just go way too crazy and I prefer to control more where my stars go. Um, some areas I like to have more, some areas I like to have less and sometimes because of it you can get these bigger, fatter white stars from it. And I just, I don't like that. That's, I don't want big, fat white stars because let's remember the bigger something is, the closer to the front it's supposed to be uh, in general. You know, smaller stars are going to be real far in the back and the bigger stars should be up closer so when you start getting these big specks it's like the right here on the camera view in front of your planet so is it really a star is it just like space dust and so you just keep that in mind to use whatever you want uh, to make your painting whatever you want it to be and remember the U motion on the planets do help so, and you can always also, another thing is you put a, on your planet, like if we didn't have all these other crazy things out here, just a little spot of white, and that just kind of makes it like it's an atmosphere on the planet, and the light's just kind of reflecting off the atmosphere of the planet. So that's also something else you can use on your planets. Um, but all these things are something every one of the spray paint artists use. So keep them in mind. Refer back to this video if you need to. I do hope it helps, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't already, click subscribe and leave a couple of comments in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. Click the like button for me and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. You guys are awesome. Keep creating. Just paint something.